Hey guys, welcome to another episode of American Flag. My name is Randy Flag, and I'm your host. Please like and subscribe and join the Patreon if you can. Uh, thanks for, I have received another Patreon subscriber. And I'm sure my Patreon subscribers can attest to the fact that the stuff that I'm delivering on Patreon is good. Okay. I also have a Rumble account, but um, if you want the Rumble account, you got to go to the Patreon because there are things that I can post on Rumble that I can't post on um, YouTube because YouTube is just too crazy. You know, um, we slowly making the transition to to Rumble. Maybe I just I'm just much happy on Rumble because I could do whatever I want. But, you know, YouTube has such a share of audience that we have to go with YouTube a lot of time. Anyway, so I have another video, which is this is going to shock you. It's going to shock you, but it's not. It's not going to be like surprising what you're going to see, but you're going to be disgusted. And I'm going to give you a warning because. This video that I compiled, this is from WeChat, and it's insane. So let's get to it because this is, um, I don't want this video to be too long. So let's get to um, what I'm about to show you. Uh, it's insane. And is this about Chinese people, you know, of lesser quality going to the continent of Africa? And you have people that I guess they don't have money and they let Chinese take advantage of them. And so after we see this, then I'm going to tell you, you know, we're going to discuss this. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, so he blocked me. So you see this here, right here, he has blocked me, okay? Because I said, here I said, shame on you. Because what he's doing is he's exploiting African people while making fun of them, while making fun of, of black people's culture, okay? And you're going to see what he does. It's, it's insane, okay? So there's two people. I, I found two channels on, on uh, WeChat. And what they do to African people, how they are very condescending to to black people is outrageous. Okay, so I tried to say something and then he saw that I was going to speak and I was going to say something. Then he blocked me. I tried to block his channel. Um, Chinese social media is say, I don't have any proof. You can't they can't do anything because it's not for them. It's not racist. To them, this is not racist st garbage that he's doing. So they won't take it down, okay? Um, but here we go. So he's selling some kind of salt from Africa, I'm guessing, from the mines or something. I don't even know if that's salt or something. Okay, so I guess they have some clay in their hair. He says very beautiful and all of this stuff, but he doesn't think that at all. And you will see. This stuff is crazy, it's like the clay from the ground. I guess it cools their hair. Okay, 
Hey, he's like very good looking, and this he doesn't think that. It's condescending. So these are all his videos. <laughs> so this kid is scared of him. <笑>就是我这个上是染的这个红颜色就是石头上磨下来的这个粉就这样的 呃，朋友们，这是非洲S.L.B.R.的哈姆尔族人啊，也称这个呃红泥族人。I that's all I see. You get the flies all over his eyes. That's all I see when they see us. Is this? Uh, 兄弟们这是哈姆尔族男人啊这放之机我给大家看个东西这就是他们的整头或者是凳子啊又大整头又大凳子啊他手上这拿一个棍儿啊这个小棍儿跟那个凳子这是哈姆尔族男人的标配
。朋友们，他们就是洗拖鞋啊，洗拖鞋就是放上沙子，然后里面一洗，洗完以后，然后再把水里面一淘啊，这就，哎、嗯，看一淘，这这就干净了。好办法啊，这个孩子挺聪明的啊。嗯，有招，快走吧。朋友们，他们就是。啊、哦，这是红泥族人啊，在这卖东西的，卖的是红薯，煮红薯。看，这个葫芦罐里面全是红薯啊，这都是煮好的。啊，第一次见红泥族人卖这个啊。这是红泥族人啊，他是卖蜂蜜的，看。哇，但是这罐看起来挺脏的。看、啊，他也是卖蜂蜜的啊。看这个罐，他不让我拍。So he got like tons of videos like this where he's just exploiting、um, people. 兄弟们，这是斑马做的啊，踩的高跷。啊！我在这儿路过，在这儿休息一下，碰见他们了啊！他们在这儿玩哦，看这身上染的花花绿绿的。兄弟们，这是。你吃的什么呀？让我吃一口啊！让我吃一口。给我吃一口，哎呀，吃一口，啊，他不给啊，啊啊啊,啊,啊,啊，吃一口，不给，哎呦，他还拿一块，吃的什么呀 ？So a lot of stuff with children, which you shouldn't be filming children, you know. 啊，兄弟们，这是部落里面的这个红泥族人啊，他这个母亲背的孩子。这个地方特别缺水啊，弄了点水，啊，嗯、弄弄了点水给孩子喝一下啊。这这是原始部落的人啊，就在这儿这儿打的水。啊，兄弟们，这是什么？你知道吗？哪个土地可以吃嘞？比利比利亚的，比亚的卡姆拉的。这拿一只筷。这是举行婚礼剩的饭啊，这些孩子都吃了，太饿了，这些孩子确确实饿。Yeah, he's like studying them, like they're some kind of animals or something, not as human beings. You know? You shouldn't be filming stuff like this, right? This is like the most <laughs> underpoverished part of African society. 就弄了一大堆的，各个两天就下课，家庭条件比较多啊，就是这孩子比较多。你看，这是他爸爸啊，正在给他妈烤烤鸭腿。还有多少黑人的呀？太多了，还有还有上不了桌子的。Just insane, you guys. It's so many. Um, I think I got a whole bunch left. Uh, like three or four minutes left. It's almost done. 大家看，这是当地的西马啊，这是做的。你看，这是当地吃法，他们都是用手抓的啊，蘸的那个，我也不知道是什么菜，反正绿的啊。So these people eat with their hands, and you know they think it's uncivilized. But you know, so is eating. What if you eat with eating with chopsticks with like two sticks, right? So you're eating with chopsticks, and then you're putting the chopsticks you put in your mouth back in a community bowl, right? So imagine that you're going to one of these meetings. Uh, where you got these government officials who always have their head deep in some poontang, and then they're taking some chopsticks and then putting it back in the food and then taking it and putting it in their mouth, right? We could say that's uncouth, right? 
We can also say that going to the bathroom and then them not having any toilet paper in the bathroom because people steal it. We could also call that uncouth. And so the, these people are so ready to jump to Africa to say, oh, these people are uncivilized. But, you know, it's very easy to find uncivilization in the People's Republic in the mainland. <laughs> I think it's almost finished. But he got so many. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm from the Africa area. This area is from the Dalian side. This is 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 the Dalian 现在就是这么个样子。朋友们，大家好，我现在。OK， so this is another guy。我在非洲的老婆啊。嗯。还有我们家。So you're saying this is my Chinese wife, but that's not really his Chinese wife. What he's doing, he's being very condescending. 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 He's being 我家闺女今年一岁了，她叫太黑了，啊，天天就知道吃棒棒糖，对对对对对对对对对，啊，老婆你爱我吗 ？Do you love me？ 耶耶，不是，你怎么一脸尴尬的表情？你不爱我吗？难道你是为了我的钱吗？啊，好吧，好歹我还有我们家的小太黑了啊。Yeah, he's too black. He's saying the kid is too black. This is my wife's Africa wife. And my daughter. My daughter is one year old. She's called Too Black. Ah, she's always eating bugs. 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 Ah, she's A black ghost, like an a, a N word, basically. So it's like Gwei Nuhai, because Gwei means ghost, right? So if I say Hey Gwei, it just means the the N word, right? So if I'm saying Nuhai Gwei, like I can just say the the ghost girl or girl ghost, which is just a derogatory term to call somebody. I think it's Gwei. I'm not. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure、um, he's saying something derogatory about this、uh, lady. He's called too black. He's、啊、saying too black. He's saying 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 too black. Yeah, yeah. No, you don't have this very awkward expression. You don't love me? Do you think you're for my money? Ah, okay. Well, I have my little girl. If I'm the father of that kid, I will cut his head off. You know, you, you don't touch my kid, and to make fun of my kid, I will cut his head off. I'm just telling you the truth. You know, he's, this guy's a fat pig, and he's condescending towards、uh, somebody's children. This is my wife in Africa, and my daughter. My daughter is one year old. She's called too black. He's like one year old. So she's like this one year old, this this ghost Negro girl, one year old. She's basically saying the N word, this one year old N word. Little baby, I have one years old. 天天，大家看一下这谁啊？你们还认识吗？嗯。Okay, so this is a filter. Okay, this is not real. Uh, her face doesn't look like that. She's probably pretty. Okay, but they got a filter on her, right? 
And you're going to see what he's going to do to this girl, which is just insane. This is what these people think of you. He's like, hurry up and eat. Hurry up and eat. Oh my god. Is it good to eat or not? Hey, you want to eat this? I don't know what he's doing. This is weird. Yeah. Hey, Ma. Malia. What are you eating today? Come on, come on. Come on, 哎妈, uh, I mean, there's much worse stuff that I could have shown you, like this other girl. Let <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like you, okay? Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, okay our Sammy's like second wife or some junk. Oh, 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 um, but this guy is just a horrible human being. There's two of them uh, that are pretty much horrible people. And, you know, there's some points I wanted to make. Um, these people that you see here, they never go to the developed parts of Africa. They're always going to these impoverished places because they want their subscribers, they want the Chinese people to think that... Africa is a backwards nation and that they are better. Okay. So they're doing the same thing that European nations and what we've read about history uh, did to them, right? What Japan and Europe and America did to China. And so you used to feel sorry for China because it's like, oh, you know, you did this to, they did this to you so bad. But then their people turn around and do it to um, basically an impoverished nation. That is actually a better nation than China because they got more resources, but they just don't know how to use them, right? Um, if blacks did this to Chinese, what would you think would happen? Like, if blacks did this to Chinese people, the Chinese would not let black people do this to them. Go to the countryside and do these types of horrible things and be condescending. They would be in jail. They would be kicked out of China. The country folk would not allow this to happen. Okay? So the country folk will not allow this type of behavior to happen. They're going to call the police or they're going to say something or they're going to get all nationalistic and patriotic. And they will kick these people out. They will not take money. You have very few who might take money. But most Chinese won't take money to do this type of things. And that's what's wrong. You can't only blame it on on. Africans, you must blame it on black culture as a whole because we do allow it to happen. You know, uh, maybe in a modernized fashion, you go to New York, you got a ton of Chinese restaurants everywhere in the ghetto in New York City, but not one black area in, in, chi in China. And if you go to Guangdong and you have these kind of black owned businesses with food and all that stuff, Chinese don't go there.
They don't eat at these places. They don't patron these places. The blacks make those places for Africans. Chinese don't patron these areas. Okay. Now, if it's Japanese food or French food or Italian food, they'll do that. American food that fattens you the hell up. They'll do that, but they won't go to an African place. They they probably think they'll catch AIDS or something. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I mean, that's all I wanted to say. I just think, what do you think about this situation? I think that this video should go viral. And it's so hard to make videos like this. I've been doing this for years, trying to make people understand the mentality of some of these Chinese people, these Chinese organizations. Um, and, and why do you have companies like TikTok from a civilization that is so utterly kind of like ignorant and racist, you know? What can we do about it? You know, I, I am not angry or anything because I'm used to it because I've been here already. I just want to bring and call attention to it so that the world knows about the behavior that goes on um, within this country and that it should somebody should do something. We should talk about this and there needs to be a change in Chinese culture at the way they perceive other races that they perceive as lower than them because i used to feel sorry for china when i used to feel bad because of the hundred years of humiliation now i no longer feel that way because they just turn it back around and to treat the others like they were treated so this is flag i'm out please like and subscribe donate to the patreon peace the Ethering of Nobita by Randy Flat. Look, Mega Man, Dr. Wiley's wildin' out, running his mouth about issues he knows nothing about. I'm here to say it aloud, I'm black and I'm proud. Nobita ass clown, I'm blacking him out, flagging his videos, check the scenario. Japanese girls is pretty, so I'm asking him out. Back to his studio, feeling high like Coolio Breaking them backs, then he out Fuck taking her back to his house And that's what gets you aroused That's what this is about Measuring dicks and amounts His is as big as a house, yours is as big as a mouse And yours he's digging her out And you just figured it out So you make videos now no, no blacks are allowed, victim shaming us now Just because she sucked his dick And he came in the mouth while you were asking her out So your nationalism combined with his white privilege Leaked a fat minion through you black pigeon speaks Though position weak he hopes division seeps Hear thee, hear thee, I write the cure between these sheets See, Nobita was never in these streets What are these statistics that he speaks? Preach! Sire, sire, he speaks of Chicago beefs. Liar, liar, he speaks of black beef between no sheets. Of these transgressions he repeats. To hear his confessions, who are we? Monkeys, tyrants, in deceit, donkeys, migrants of ill conceit. Always victim past solutions. From this he measures air with rulers. So flaccid, somebody tell this dick I'm not his massive shooter. In fact, this brat kid never held a German Luger or 22 or 44 or Kalishnikov, Moxburg sorted off or this is what gets me so pissed off. Uh, we are supposed to be opening doors, uh, but it seems the only flap you want to open is yours. Uh, well, you and your overlords will feed you talking points of black abortions and disproportionate amounts of crime distortions tend to leave out the most important of the crime reporting and that's some um, I'm not shooting up these motherfucking schools.